Oh. Rock skinnies, stay straight. Big booty bitch, real tits, no fake. Need a drink, give me about eight. Pour shots of liquor down, shit faced, uh. Get smashed, take shots, take it all in. Bitches getting fuzzy, might need a new lens. Silly little ratchets, always trying to get it in. Want me hit it once? Nah, I think I'm passing. Drinking all night. What's up, y'all? It's your host, Functions with Rough Night Gaming, bringing you guys a domination gameplay on the map Meltdown. With the MP7 with the diamond camo. And that thing is sexy as fuck, is it not? Look at that gun. It is gold with diamond studded all up on that bitch. That shit is... Excuse my language. I'm not going to cut this out <laughs> as usual. <laughs> and I do it for the ratchets. Yeah. So, <laughs> new intro song again. I think this has already been my channel before. It's only the first part because I'm not going to post the whole song yet until I get feedback. Because I don't... I kind of want to make it, I want to interact with people and I want to see what it is. But that's, I do it for the Ratchets. That's my take on it. It's my little short free verse. It's only a couple bars. And I think the whole first verse is up on my YouTube channel. But I have the whole song done. I'm just waiting to post it. So that's this song for today. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know what song I'm going to use yet. I might use my uh, Meek Mill's House Party remix. I don't, I don't know yet. I have to get around to it. Or I might do the ice cream paint job freestyle that I did yesterday that's that's fucking funny uh, let me got let me know if you guys want me to do a silly rap where it's not about I don't know where there's really not a point to it I could do one on Call of Duty actually for y'all if that's if y'all are interested in that because I saw Woody's gamer tag they did uh niggas in Paris and that shit for a mini Taj on his channel and the guy went in that was and it was all about Call of Duty and YouTube and that was that was really good it was it was pretty solid but regardless so Songs they always come up in my mind whenever they'll probably there won't be a new one every single day I'll probably have to recycle a couple of them just because I don't do them daily I mean I do them I have to work on them I have to write stuff I have to think about it I have to find the beat that I want to use and it doesn't take you know two hours to do it's a couple day long process I don't know I'm not that, I'm not that good it's more yeah forget about it so last commentary that I posted yesterday. I think. Yeah, I posted it yesterday. I talked about uh, Black Ops 2, and I was going to do the impressions, but I ended up going off on a tangent about KD ratio and score per minute and the combat record stats that are in Black Ops 2. And <laughs> uh, I didn't get to talk about, about what I wanted to talk about. And what I want to talk about is what I really like about Black Ops 2. And <laughs> uh, there are quite a few things that I like, and then there are quite a few things that I dislike. So I'm going to get straight into it right now. The first thing that I like about this game is how submachine gun oriented it is and how, how run and gun the game is. Uh, I like uh, The only thing I don't like about the submachine guns is how there's only six of them. The MP7, PDW, Vector, MSMC, Scorpion, and the Cheecom. I wish there were like two or three more. That way I could have, I don't know, more variety when I choose my submachine guns. So I always end up reverting back to the MP7 or the MSMC, and I wish there were more, I don't know, some machine guns that I could use. What I don't like about it is how the assault rifles seem to be way under par in this game, and I know they did a nerf where they, uh, or a patch, where they nerfed the some machine guns, and they boosted or bumped up the assault rifles, but it still feels like I'm always losing a gunfight to someone with a some machine gun if I'm using an assault rifle within, I don't know, 20 feet. I know that's their power range, but even if I get first shot on them, I don't seem to ever win the gunfight, even if I land quite a few bullets. And that's probably because my internet connection sucks fucking dick. I don't know about y'all, but I feel like I'm still in the stone ages right now with my internet connection. I have a 2.5 down and a 0.7 up. And on the national grade scale, I think it's like a D-, minus, and that is awful for playing Call of Duty, where Call of Duty is, uh, I read a tweet, it's 50% uh, connection, 25% skill, and then 25% luck. And I can agree with that because it is very connection-based. And if you don't think it is, you are crazy and I don't know what the fuck you're smoking and you should probably share it with me or something. I don't – yeah. But it's almost all connection-based and with a sh shitty connection, it's really hard to do well. And I always end up watching my kill cams when I'm not recording. And whenever I watch them, I remember shooting them and then in the kill cam, <laughs> it doesn't even show me shoot one bullet. Uh, do you guys have that problem too? Is that just me with my connection or is that Call of Duty in general is bullshit? I don't really know. That's probably one of the things I don't like about Call of Duty, how, how it's been connection-based for so long. And I guess it really hurts people that don't have a very good connection. But it's still a fun game to play. 
And I'm going to hold up right now because I have to go in on this last kill cam right here. Ready? Oh, man. Here we go. I'm going to run up. Uh, climb up. Throw my C4. And what is that? Triple kill. Bam, yo. White Boy 7th Street. Dislike for a bad reference. <laughs> yeah. C4 is fucking boss. That's another thing I like about this game, dude. C4 is fucking awesome. In the other games, C4, I never used it because it never seemed like a viable option. And in this game, that's almost the only equipment I ever run is C4. I don't run the Claymore or whatever else they have. I don't even know what else they have for the tactical. <laughs> I always fucking run... Or is it lethal? I don't know. I always run the C4 in that slot and the concussion grenade. I don't care for any of the other equipments. Honestly, C4 and the concussion are the best too. That's personal opinion and it just seems like they're so powerful the c4 always kills and getting oh man i had a quad feed on on nuketown these kids all spawned we were playing hardpoint and they all spawned in front and i just threw it off the staircase quad feed and i heard the enemy kill cam because you can hear the uh what is it kill call whatever i don't know you can hear the enemies when you have to kill them for a couple of seconds and all the kids were like oh fuck man that kid got a quad I was like, damn it, I wish I had been recording, and then it didn't show up in theater mode later, and I was like, oh, fuck. So, there goes that quad C4, but C4 was fucking awesome. I love that shit. That's awesome. The sniper rifles, I like how, I mean, it doesn't, uh, I don't want to say it doesn't take any skill to quickscope, because I there is some skill, and I'm not a very good quickscoper, but I've been in games and gotten, like, gotten shot by a sniper rifle, and I watched the kill cam, and the kid's crosshairs are nowhere touching my body. It's literally right next to me, and it'll shoot off maybe a foot or so behind my head, and yet I still die. I don't know if there's a hitbox problem with some of the sniper rifles, or if I'm just, it's my connection. But sniper rifles are really powerful. I like that. I like how the quick scoping is, is, is kind of fun. The shotguns in this game, ah, I, I'm 50-50 on this one, because the Remington, before they patched it, was it was godly, and now it's really shitty. I end up, it's so inconsistent when I shoot it, uh, I'll shoot him directly in the face and I won't get a hit marker from 5 feet away, and then sometimes I'll shoot him from 15 or 20 feet away and I'll get a one hit kill. So the shotguns, they're fun, but at the same time they're really inconsistent and they're hard to play with because sometimes you're on a streak and then you think you kill the kid because you hit him and it ends up you didn't even touch him. You barely even, like, you know, I don't know, grazed him or something. So that's another problem. I like how they changed it. Uh, and then in Modern Warfare 3, they had the score streaks, and they said, oh, it's a point streak, blah, blah, blah. Well, it wasn't really a point streak because kids still could camp and get their kill streaks. Uh, in this game, they really emphasize objective play because it's score streaks now. In Kill Confirmed, every kill is 50 points. So, hell, if you want a low star and you don't want to get your off your fucking ass and get one tag, it's going to take you 30 kills to get that low star. That's a lot of kills. And if you just want to confirm tags, you know, you could, I don't know, you can get maybe 10 kills and then 10 confirms, and bam, you got a load star. So, it's really objective-based, and I like how it's 200 points for a capture and domination and 200 points for a kill when you're capturing the flag. That's cool, too, because that's really saying, don't camp in a building, help out your team and try to win. And that, that's really fun. I like that. I like how they changed the whole mindset of most Call of Duty players from camping to get your kill streaks to playing the objective and getting your kill streaks. It's really rewarding objective based players and I love it. And here I am capturing a flag right now like a boss. <laughs> I love this. I love the score streaks, man. They're awesome. And the score streaks themselves are powerful as fuck. Getting the swarm is awesome. I love getting the swarm. I actually have a game plan I'm gonna post tomorrow. It's on carrier, I think. Uh, but I get the swarm and it's I don't know if this happens to you guys, but I've seen monster gameplays where kids get swarms and they go ham and get a hundred and something kills. I get you know, two to three swarms a game in one time, and I'll barely even get 70 because all the kids leave and the game ends early. Uh, I do you guys have this problem too, because that's probably the only other thing I don't like about Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is everybody seems to back out and rage quit. It's the most rage quitting Call of Duty I've seen in in a long time. I, I remember playing Modern Warfare 2, and I, there was never a game where it said enemies forfeiting in 20 seconds, and I've already had at least 20 games where it said enemies forfeiting in 20 seconds. So, it's my opinion on Black Ops 2. I'll probably do another one. Or I don't yeah, I like the game. It's good enough. Whatever. I hope you all enjoyed this. It's been Functions with Rough Night Gaming. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a rating. It really lets me know what's going on with my commentaries and stuff. And have a good day, guys. Peace out.